Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Paladins Esports Weekly. My name is Rene, and joining me today is High Res Pretty Hair, and it's time to take a look at a quick recap of what happened and what's to come in the esports Paladin scene. Europe's big ticket matchup this week was Burrito versus District 69. The series lived up to the height. Burrito versus D69 was the first series to go the distance, spanning all five games before Burrito were able to pry out a win in game number five. Following their hard-fought defeat, District 69 was able to bounce back in the second series of their doubleheader, sweeping Team Viral in three games. Team Viral also played in the final series of the day, this time against Kings of the North. It felt as though Team Viral was warmed up from their set against District 69, as they were able to take a clean 3-0 against Kings of the North. The home front games were no less important. On the North American side, first and second seeds Matchpoint and Eager clashed. Matchpoint went out on a limb in game one, picking up Ruckus as their sole front line. It didn't quite pan out, and Eager took game one of the set. However, Matchpoint went on to win the next three games and remain undefeated. Eager, having the doubleheader this week, fought back in the next set against Spawn Killed. Eager took convincing wins in their sweep over Spawn Killed, cementing their spot as number two in North America. The final set of the week between Spawn Killed and Mutiny would determine who fell into the third and fourth seeds in the region. Mutiny was able to get Spawn Killed to bend, but not break. Mutiny took the first game off of Spawn Killed, but then suffered close losses in the following three games, resulting in Spawn Killed winning the set. As the stakes grow higher in the champion circuit, so do the standards for finding yourselves as one of Nick's picks. This week, I want to give a shout out to Burrito's Bird for a play he made on Ying in game number two of their set against District 69. What you're about to see is a rare interaction, and due to the difficulty of the execution, it all takes place in the span of a few seconds, so we've slowed down the clip to make sure that you have all the time to appreciate the intricacies of what happens. Bird and company hear the audio cue that tells them Bugsy is charging his Dragon Punch and is out for blood. Theo begins to retreat because as Makoa, he knows he is one of the juicier targets Bugsy would be looking for. Bird sees this, and as Bugsy about to round the corner to pursue Theo, shatters his illusion so they collapse towards Bugsy, taking the Dragon Punch in place of Theo. Bird picks up the kill on Bugsy immediately after, and Burrito are able to push the payload to conversion off the back of Bird's play. Great stuff from one of the many stars playing in the champion circuit, but competitive Paladins has already spread far beyond Europe and North America. Our international scene will be well represented at High res Expo. The championship for the Latin American Paladins qualifier will actually be held this weekend. So make sure you tune in to twitch.tv slash mightlatam to see the series between Nocturnes Gaming and Apple Lovers to see who will reign supreme and secure their spot at the High res Expo. If you're interested in checking out the Brazilian side of Paladins Esports, you can follow our friends at twitch.tv slash paladinspro.br as well. Well, we're already halfway through the champion circuit, and the format of the circuit guarantees every team will go head-to-head -head twice. This means the matchups heading into week three will be the same as week two, and week four will mirror week one. Being halfway through also means our top seeds are getting closer and closer to clinching those top spots and guaranteeing themselves a spot at High res Expo. Since the standings are actually the same in both North America and Europe, the potential clinching scenarios are identical as well. If first seeds Matchpoint and Burrito win their second head-to-head -head matchup against second seeds Eager and District 69, the pressure is then on Eager and D69 to win the following series in their double headers, where the first seeds will clinch this weekend of play. And of course, if you want to catch all of these games live, make sure to check us out on twitch.tv slash Paladins Game. The Champion Circuit goes live at 3 p.m. on both Saturday and Sunday Eastern Time, so make sure to tune in with us then. Well, that about wraps things up for us here on Paladins Esports Weekly. Remember to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned to all of your Paladins Esports updates and general updates about the content of the game. That's right. And you can follow myself and Rain Day at twitter.com slash highresprettyhair and at Rain Day Gaming. As always, remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and we'll see you all in the realm.